In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a Man Whitney U test in GraphPad. So the first thing we need to do is open up our data sheet. So it's going to be a column type of sheet. And again, I'm going to enter the replicate values again. So I'm going to click the create button. So for this example data set, we'll say that we have two groups of people and we're measuring a certain protein in their blood. And we want to see if this protein, the concentration of this protein is different from a control group and a treated group. So I'm going to call group A control and then group B treated. And then I'm going to enter some data here. So these are the protein concentrations from the blood. So what I want to do is to see if the concentrations are different in the controls compared to the treated. So I'm going to perform a Mann-Whitney U test. So the Mann-Whitney U test is a non-parametric version of the unpaired or independent student t-test. So to do this, we go to the analyze button again up here. Under the column analyses, select the t-tests and non-parametric tests. Make sure that your data sets are active, so they're going to be included in the analysis. Click OK. Under experimental design, the test is going to still be unpaired. The assume Gaussian distribution, so we're saying that one or two of our data sets is not normally distributed, so we need to click no to use the non-parametric test. And then the test we're going to perform is the Mann-Whitney test. You just double check on the options tab up here. Again, you can change whether you want to do a one-tailed or a two-tailed analysis, how to report the differences. If you wanted to report any descriptive statistics, you can do APA style, I always use. So click OK to run the test. Let's go through the result sheet. So the table that was analyzed was dataset one, telling you what column A and column B are. And then these are the results for the Mount Whitney test itself. So under the first line, we've got the p-value for the test. So this comes to 0.080. It's telling you whether the, the p-value is exact or an approximate p-value. In this case, it's an exact value. P-value summary, so is the, the final test significant or not significant? In this case, because the p-value is above 0.05, the test is not significant. So that's what NS stands for. This is summed up in the next one, line 11. Is it significantly different? No, it's not. This is a two-tailed test. These are showing you the sum of the ranks from the test um, from A and B, and the man Whitney u value. So overall, there is no difference in these protein concentrations in the control group compared to the treated group. Because the Man Whitney U test compares the median values, it, below this it'll give you a bit more detail on this. So the median of column A was 2.058 and the end number was 20. For column B, this was 2.664 and the end number was 20. So the actual difference uh, was 0.6055 and it's also giving you a difference through the Hodges-Lehman method. So that is how you perform a Man Whitney U test in GraphPad.